Okay. So, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. How you guys doing? Um, I have had a lot of uh, questions regarding the old shanks, okay? Many different ways to shank a golf ball. I'm gonna go through the different ways and, and then the remedies I'm gonna refer to the videos that I already have out there on YouTube. I only got 105 of them for you. <laughs> so we're gonna look at how it happens and then the correction and then the elaboration to that correction, I'll refer to that video, okay? So here we go. Now first, there's a fundamental way to set up to shank a ball. If you are just a tad too close to the ball, a little too tall. Now the taller you, you are, the more your shoulders tend to swing horizontally, and that's just perfect for baseball and tennis. It's gonna have a tendency to throw the club out and away from you. So. If I'm standing a little too tall and a little too close to the ball, see how I'm, I'm kind of uh, kneeling into it. From there, I'm just basically pushing the hosel right into the golf ball, and there's that little shank off to the right. So if you go to the posture and balance, the distance to ball, and the don't keep your head down part one and part two videos, we want the chest over the ground, but out to counterbalance. Now the arms are hanging directly below my shoulders. Bring the club in, and now when I'm over the ball, and I stay over the ball, there's the distance I should be. Now I move that to the golf ball, everything's fine. Now, be careful when you take that distance between yourself and the ball, if you stand up in your swing, so if I take my back swing and stand up, now the club's gonna fall closer to me. If I bring that to the ball, I'm toast, okay? So, swing the club back and through a couple of times, feel like your chest is staying forward, your butt's staying out, and you're turning and returning from that position. That's where the ball should be. Go to the ball, now, you're in the correct position to swing through the golf ball and get the ball in the center of the club face. That's number one. So we need to be in the right posture and the right distance between ourselves and the golf ball. Now that I'm in the right posture, the shoulders turn more diagonally. This will send the club more away and up. Now the club can fall back underneath me, okay? Maintaining posture through the swing. Second um, uh, issue as far as the shank is concerned. If I start here, take a, make a nice back swing, and then for many of you, the tendency is to let the, the butt fall in. The pelvis falls in out from underneath me. And the reason is really simple, is when you make that nice turn in the back swing, the left hip moves forward, the right hip moves back. On the downswing, many of you are letting that right hip fall forward to the same position of the left hip. Remedy is Hogan power move, Hogan power drill. And you'll also see in a Hunter Mahan swing, uh, you go to the Swing Vision on YouTube, you'll see Hunter Mahan, the power fade. You'll see how Peter Costas puts a line behind him here. I put a line right on my backside. Turn, the butt's still on that line. Return, butt still on that line. So I'm maintaining my posture where the left side is returning to the same position where my right side is. Now I've got this nice big pocket in front of me to let my arms swing through. You notice that through impact, you heard the sound nice and crisp because I maintain my posture throughout. If I lose my posture in the downswing, now my arms have no room. I have to go around, so I'll either pull it to the left or I will slide the hosel where the face and the, the shaft meet, that's the hosel, I'll slide that into the ball and the inside of the hosel here aims directly to the right. The ball's just gonna switch directly to the right 
It's the worst feeling ever. It's the, the worst sound off the club ever, for those of you who've experienced it, and uh, as, as we all have. So it's just a matter of maintaining that posture in the downswing. So the downswing starts with a nice squat, or the downswing starts with a nice plant of that left heel. So look at the swing sequence video and the sequence power drill video. So when you're planting into that left side, you're planting with pressure from that left hip. So it really feels like you're squatting into the downswing. Butt goes back out, which means that left hip's gonna clear out of the way, everything's fine, it goes through the ball. That's the second, the second reason. Third reason, you're taking the club back with the arms in the backswing. If that happens, the arms will pull themselves around the body. Now the body is definitely in the way, forcing the arms out too much, and then obviously the path will come across and go out to the right, therefore pushing the hosel into the ball. So if you take it back too far inside, you're coming back, see how the club is moving to the outside of the ball, and I'll catch the ball just on the inside of the, uh, of the shaft. And for some of you, that ball will even go to the left. That's the extreme shank. See that? So all that means is you're trying to hit the ball. So go to the takeaway and starting the swing. So we want to use the turn of the body to toss the arms into the backswing. So the takeaway, see that? And then the, the right arm folds and the wrist hinge, everything's going to be up here. So we want to feel like we're tossing the arms back with the turn of the body. Everything comes through beautifully. Ooh, that was nicely struck. And that takes care of, you'll, you'll also see uh, the video arms in front of body, okay? So we're tossing everything back, arms stay in front of me. Also, the other video is called um, Chicken Wing Across the Line. You have a good, a look, good look at that one. You're taking it back and the handle here is pointing at the ball. If I take it back too far inside, there's no way that handle can be, can be pointing in the direction of that target line. So everything stays out in front of you. Everything comes through real nice. And finally, focus on the target, not on the golf ball. If I'm skipping stones on water, right? Skipping a stone out there. So you notice where I'm releasing the stone, right out here. Notice how my left hip has cleared out of the way. If my focus changes, obviously my hip clears out of the way because I'm, I'm focused on the pond out there. If my body stays still and I throw the stone, see what happened? My arm collapses against me, everything goes out to the left. So if I do the same thing with the golf club, watch what happens when I'm coming down into the ball. Take it back. And then I try to hit the ball with my arms. Well, my body's in the way now, isn't it? <laughs> now I gotta come around the body. Can you guys see now how everything's going outside the target line? Now I have a tendency to hosel it right here or pull it to the left. So the body's in the way. Why is the body in the way? Because you're not focused on the target. So for many of you, it's just a matter of allowing momentum to go toward the target. So if you look at the arms falling video, and you look at the, um, the feet together video, you'll see how when I let my arms fall, the body should naturally get out of the way because my focus is I want my arms to fall in front of me and toward the target. So if I have a kid on a swing here, toss the kid back, let him fall. Notice he's not stopping here because no obstacles. Momentum has a chance to come through. Same here. Toss, fall. So as I'm letting momentum go through, my brain is saying, okay, the target's over there. Momentum's coming down. I want to keep on letting it go all the way to the target and let it exhaust itself to the target. So take away, toss it back. Get out of the way of momentum. Whew. See how my body turns out of the way? Everything fires out there towards the target. Okay? So you'll find um, like the uh, 100th anniversary video for Pinehurst. 
and uh, also the video called through the ball so to get your focus get through the golf ball towards the target so some nice tricks in there on how to get you through the golf ball okay so those